It is just over one month until Brits go to the polls for an early election on July 4. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is focused on turning around the gloomy forecast to, to secure another term in government. It would be a very big ask. The opposition leader, Keir Starmer, is trying to end 14 years of Conservative power. These uncertain times call for a clear plan and bold action to chart a course to a secure future. You must choose in this election who has that plan, who is prepared to take the bold action necessary to secure a better future for our country and our children. A Labour government that can stop the chaos and division, that can turn the page and rebuild Scotland and Britain. We need that change. The chaos and division has cost. And joining me live now is Dr Michael Turner, a pollster and political strategist who's been a senior advisor to several election campaigns in the UK. Mike, why now? It's rare that we get a summer election. <laughs> well, that's the great question, isn't it? It's actually a question that many uh, Conservative backbench MPs have been asking themselves um, because it certainly appears that they weren't informed about the announcement and many of them are disappointed that they will be receiving, uh, let's just say, uh, far fewer paychecks um, before they end up leaving Parliament. Um, the announcement was, you know, billed as, you know, a necessary given that one of the additional uh, pledges that Rishi Sunak made, um, inflation coming down to normal levels, was achieved and therefore the green shoots of economic recovery um, should not be trampled on by an incoming Labour government according to the Conservative government. Um, but I think the reality is is that um, Rishi Sunak is afraid. He's afraid that um, he's going to go down as uh, one of the uh, worst election performances, overseeing one of the worst election performances in the UK in over 100 years for the Conservative Party. And um, I think also he was aware that Nigel Farage was this week planning on uh, announcing his candidacy for reform, um, obviously um, the early announcement sort of scuppered that, um, but he didn't want the right to be cannibalised and for his fate uh, to be sealed. Yeah, interesting. I mean, Rishi Sunak should be afraid, according to all of the published polls. I've seen he's behind some 20 points. Is that about right? Yeah, that is about right. I'd, I'd, I'm not 100% sure it will land there. Polls do tend to tighten in the heat of an election, but the difference between the UK and Australian elections is um, in Australia we're fortunate we have compulsory uh, voting, which means that everyone is compelled to have a say. In the UK you don't have to turn out, and you know, in the landslide uh, 1997 um, uh, uh, election uh, for the Labour Party, turnout was very low. The, effectively what happened is a lot of Conservative voters didn't turn out and um, really the job of Rishi Sunak now is to try and find issues that push and prod Conservative voters to say, look, it's worth turning out at this election uh, to try and keep as many uh, Conservative MPs in Parliament. Yeah, compulsory military service was certainly uh, one of the, those ideas that were was talking to Conservative voters, but how, how's that going to go down? Yeah, it's an interesting one. You know, I think it's one of those ones that sort of sounds good but plays out poorly. Um, it's uh, it's certainly something that's reflective of the electoral situation that Rishi Sunak finds himself in. He needs to uh, play to his base, so reform, that is the former, you know, formerly the Brexit party led by Nigel Farage, um, aren't able to... Um, eat into his vote. So he's looking to kind of shore up the right. And uh, I think for a lot of um, conservatives that, you know, that that elected Sunak, um, you know, and voted for Sunak when he was going for the leadership election, uh, they'll be pretty shocked to see this sort of election mode Rishi, which is very different from how he's been prime minister. We always talk about the red wall when it comes to, um, <laughs> to elections in the UK or the blue wall, uh, whichever... Uh, way that particular area of the UK goes. So basically what I'm uh, trying to uh, point out to our viewers is that there's a very big difference between kind of regional Britain and London, isn't there, in the issues that get people to turn out and vote and the issues that motivate them. Yeah, that's certainly true. Um, yeah, there's a few walls looking to be knocked down at this um, 
uh, election, that's for sure, whether it's the, the blue wall down in the southwest or the red wall in the north and the Midlands. Um, I think the difficulty for Sunak has been trying to pick what electoral coalition he wants to uh, back in. And, and where he's landed now is, um, ironically, um, not on the economy, which is what the whole election announcement was about. You know, um, it's built to make sure the Conservatives can steward um, ele uh, economic recovery. It's actually on values. Uh, he's talking a lot more on immigration. He's talking a lot more on national service um, and, and cultural issues. Um, and and he's decided that he's trying to hark back a little bit to Boris Johnson's sort of election thumping, you know, 80 uh, seat majority um, and see if he can tap into a bit of that to, to save as many Conservative MPs as possible in the, in, in the next sort of 30 yeah. days or so. Yeah, he's going to want to tap into that and he doesn't have long. Just finally, before we let you go, Mike, what did you think of the strategy of sending Rishi out in the rain to announce this summer election early? Yeah, well, we couldn't get more iconic London, could you, than a, a spring day and <laughs> pouring down on the Prime Minister. But, um, uh, yeah. you know, I would say this is, it, it for me, is a sign, really, of... Um, the nature of a Rishi Sunak sort of leadership. He's really been the CEO for UK Limited. You know, he, he very much kind of builds himself more of a business leader, probably more comfortable in Silicon Valley than, you know, the Welsh Valleys, if, or, you know, than uh, uh, has been seen over his period of time uh, as Prime Minister. What I um, would say is that, um, you know, it was a sign that he was desperate to get out there and call the election as quickly as possible. Um, and that should probably uh, give you a bit of information about what he's expecting uh, at the upcoming election, which isn't good. No, certainly not. It's uh, hard to find a bright spot for him and the Conservatives at the moment. We will keep a very close eye on it. Mike, looking forward to being over there in just over a month. We'll see you soon. See ya.